Hey guys, welcome back to the SERPWIZ report. Head over to www.sertwiz.com to get your free SEO audit. And um, today we're talking about minimizing the main thread work. So again, we've got my agency site, pearllemon.com loaded, and we've got our disastrous, disastrously slow times. And um, if you're looking at the minimize main thread work and you're thinking, what the hell does that even mean? I'm gonna bring up a definition of the main thread because it's does a better job of explaining it than, than I would. Basically, it's where the browser processes user events and paints, meaning it starts to throw content, if you like, onto, onto the web page, a little bit like painting, okay? Or painting a little bit like that. By default, the browser uses a single thread to run all the JavaScript in your page, as well as to perform layouts, reflows, and bar garbage collection. So um, we'll just jump into this to, um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at some other uh, examples. When an application is launched in Andro uh, Android, it creates the first thread of execution known as a main thread. So the first thread is known as a main thread and responsible for dispatching events to the appropriate user interface widgets, as well as com communicating with components of the Android UI tool kit. Um, each unit capable of executing code is called a thread. The main thread is the one used by a, the browser to handle all events, render and paint the display and to run the majority of the code that compromises a typical web app. So the majority of the code. So I think that that's the best explanation. So now that we know what a thread is, it's basically um, the, 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 the thread or the, the unit that's used to basically run the majority of the code and, and process everything. Minimizing your main thread will um, really ultimately you know, speed up your site. So um, here, as we see, it says consider reducing the time spent comparting, compiling, executing JavaScript. That's specifically about the loading of JavaScript. And you may find delivering smaller JS payloads helps with this. So if we um, now jump into, um, this is GT metrics. Minimizing main thread work is a high impact audit within the context of your site performance. Um, and as it says, uh, what is the main thread? How does it affect page performance? Uh, freeze up your browser to handle other tasks essential for your page load, okay? Um, and events like HTML, CSS passing, JavaScript execution, among others, block the main thread from tending to other tasks and handling or handling user interaction. That's the important one, okay? And it's JS execution that makes up the main bulk of thread congestion. And this can be because you're JavaScript heavy. Uh, in general, the more JavaScript you've got, the longer the paid, the pass or compile process, meaning that users wait for, for longer, basically. Um, so, so that's a consideration. And then again, if we look at how to minimize main thread work, it's, it's pretty much, you know, broadly similar stuff. Third party JS, debouncing your input handlers. Um, I don't even know what that means, to be honest with you. Um, so you'd have to have a look at that up. Look that up. Using web workers is something that began looking into. JS execution, CSS parsing, using only compositor properties. Um, I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. This is an expert level optimization. Thank you for that. And let's just have a look at our old friend, the web dev site, to see if there's anything else. Um, Lighthouse flags pages that keep the main thread busier for longer than four seconds during load. <laughs> we spent 15 seconds, apparently, which is uh, pretty terrible. Um, and um, I think that, to be honest with you, there's nothing that's going to be reduce the scope and complexity of style calculations, avoid large complex layouts and layout thrashing, which is probably loads of different things loading together, um, simplify paint complexity and reduce paint areas. And there's a lot of stuff here that's probably going to be you know useful for your developer, but basically it's about making the page less user or rather resource intensive. And I think that's going to be the way that you're going to really improve and impact your main thread. Um, so that was something we'd already looked at. So so they, there you have it, guys. That is um, some insights in how to minimize main thread. Catch you in the next one.